And still ahead, President Joe Biden has been away from the White House frequently, but it's not all been for the campaign trail. How the president's days in Delaware are passing his predecessors at Mar-a-Lago. More on that up next. And later, President Biden surpasses his predecessor in days spent away from the White House. We'll discuss with the midterms, as we said, just weeks away. President Biden is now outpacing former President Trump in days spent away from the White House. That's next. A new CNN analysis finds President Biden has spent more than a quarter of his presidency working from his home in Delaware and is now outpacing the rate that former President Trump spent away from the White House. CNN White House correspondent Kate Bennett joining us with more on this. Uh, so what more do we know, Kate? So we've tallied the numbers and it's about 100, well, counting today, about 175 days for President Biden, uh, 174, 175 days in Delaware. That's about a quarter of his presidency and significantly more at this juncture in his term than it was for Donald Trump going away. Now, we're just counting time spent at his home in Delaware. Uh, and for Trump, the analysis was about uh, Mar-a-Lago and Bedminster. So we're not counting foreign trips or domestic trips, uh, but just being home away from the White House. You know, a lot of presidents say that living in the White House is luxurious, but it can be sort of that gilded cage. Um, so certainly Joe Biden has always been Amtrak Joe, as he was known in the Senate, goes home a lot. And a president can do their job from anywhere. We said the same thing about Donald Trump. You know, they travel basically with a mobile oval office. And quite frankly, our ideas and norms about workplace, work from home have changed since post-pandemic. Uh, maybe Joe Biden just had a better idea of how to model that before we all did. Um, he certainly has enjoyed working from home in Delaware for most of his career, not just his presidency. But at this pace, he is going to probably break the record uh, for modern day presidents who have been in office for spending time at home. That includes Ronald Reagan at his ranch, George W. Bush at his ranch. Uh, President Obama didn't go home all that much, neither did President Clinton. But certainly uh, Joe Biden loves Delaware. Uh, and He likes to be there most weekends and get out of town and out of Washington, guys. All right, Kate Bennett, thank you. So just to be clear, if you uh, become governor, you will push for a law that has absolutely no limits in any point of the pregnancy on abortion. That's your position. That's what you would want to be the law of the land in Arizona. The fact is right now that we have very limited options and that we need to get politicians out of the way and let doctors provide the care that they are trained to provide so, Dana, Arizona is a purple state now. What's the risk reward of taking a position like this on abortion? It, it, there is a, a lot of risk and potential reward. And uh, you sort of alluded to this when you say a position like this. What she is suggesting is that there would be no legal restrictions at all on abortion. And just to give you a, a sense of context, what's going on in uh, Arizona right now is that uh, the current Republican governor, Doug Ducey, signed a ban of abortion after 15 weeks with some exceptions.